Welcome everyone to the Lo-Fi Poli Sci Podcast. I'm your host, Michael Pickering. That's right. Lo-Fi's and low fidelity, low quality, in your face, messy as can be global news show. It's Tuesday, Lo-Fi Nation, and you know what that means. It's time for Tuesday's Top 10 List. Every Tuesday, we look at global indicators and surveys to see what countries hold the top 10 rankings in particular categories. We'll cover things like GDP, oldest country, freest countries, happiest countries, and more. And no worries, Lo-Fi listener. We'll cover what each category means before we jump into the list. Today's list, the 10 least populated countries on the planet. Last week we did the most densely populated. It's only sensible that we round it out with today's list. Population density is the number of people you have living within a particular measured area. An example? Of course. If you have one square kilometer, and yes, we're using the metric system for this, or as the rest of the world says, just how it's done. If you have one square kilometer with one person living in it, then the population density is one per square kilometer. If you have the same space with 10 people living in it, then the population density is 10 people per square kilometer. Population density for a country is the number of people in a country divided by the square kilometers, or miles, of the country's territories. And if you really need to know the miles, one mile equals 1.6 kilometers. But now to the list. Coming in at number 10 is Canada, with a population density of 4 people per square kilometer. Number 9, Botswana, with 3.96 per square kilometer. Number 8, Mauritania, with 3.87 per square kilometer. Number 7, Libya, at 3.66. Number 6, Guyana, with 3.64. And now to our bottom 5. Number 5, Iceland, with 3.56 people per square kilometer. Number four, Suriname at 3.47 per square kilometer. Number three, Australia at three per square kilometer. Number two, Namibia with 2.93. And coming in at number one and the least densely populated country on the planet. If you said Mongolia, you're correct with a population density of just over 2.07 people per square kilometer. Wow, that's a small number of people in a large area. And fine, since I know you're asking, that means that in Mongolia, there are 5.4 people per square mile. There you go. I hope you're happy. So what does this all mean, and how can we break it down into relatable measures? Well, let's break it down into how many people that would be in an American football field for you. And I won't bore you with the math this time. There are 484 football fields in a square mile, meaning on average in Mongolia, if we do a little bit of rounding, There's about one person living in the space of 100 football fields in the country. Now, of course, that's an average. In reality, one-third of Mongolia's population lives in the capital, which means that average would actually be smaller outside of the capital and higher inside of the capital. But as always, we must ask, why does this list even matter? Well, from a poli-sci standpoint, it can matter a lot. Two quick deductions we can take from this. One, Either a whole lot of the land in the country is not livable, meaning deserts in several of our cases, or two, perhaps the population of the country is still growing, and therefore hasn't used all of its land yet. This could also mean that there's the potential for lots of resources in that unused land. However, this is a generalization, and you'd have to look at each country specifically. In reality, there are a lot of reasons why a country might have a low population density. It is a fun statistic, but really, It's one of those variables that need to be connected to another in order to gain real comparative perspective on what's going on in a country today. And of course, I'm sure you are all wondering, where does the U.S. fall on this list? There's lots of unused space in the country. And your answer is? I'm sorry. You know you can look it up real easy-like if you're that curious. I can't do all the work for you, lo-fi listener. And that's this Tuesday's Top 10 List. Stay tuned for tomorrow's episode of Lo-Fi Global News. Always remember that Lo-Fi poli is more than just me. It's the we that we be. Write in with questions or comments to lo fi poli at planetmail.com. Thanks for listening. Stay safe. Wash those hands. And I'll see you on the next episode of the Lo-Fi poli Podcast. Pickering, signing off. Well, since you waited around this long, I'll go ahead and tell you. The U.S. comes in at number 49. I hope you're happy. Pickering, signing off.